Alright, so what we are gonna do today is we are actually gonna unbox and test out the 12 the DeWalt 12 volt extreme hacksaw. Now this thing uh it, I got this at Lowe's and it was 130 bucks and I also got a three amp hour battery. So we're actually gonna put this to the test and see what the difference is between a two amp hour and a three amp hour battery. And uh, I love 12 volt systems, so that's why I got it. Uh, I have a huge thing about 12 volt systems. But this thing is awesome though. I do have, I do have the Atomic uh, Recip Saw, uh, Hacksaw. Uh, and yes, we will do a versus video between this and this just to see what the difference is, is in the future. And so yes, but today we are going to test this out, unbox this, test this out, look at the specs and see how this actually performs. Should be that. Very good. Of course it comes with instructions and warranty. Uh, it comes with two blades. It comes with a wood uh a wood blade and a metal blade. The wood blade is 16th per, uh, per inch. And it is, I think it's a six inch blade. Yep, and then it comes with a metal blade, which is 18 teeth per inch. And that is, I think, a, a four inch blade. So yeah, it comes with a six inch blade and a four inch blade. We will be putting those to the test today. That, that thing looks awesome, wow. Then after that, uh, that's it. This is tool only. This is not a kit. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that. Wow, that's actually beefier than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty fat, which is good. Like I said, it's model number DC uh, DCS three one two, twenty eight hundred strokes per minute. Uh, it does not say what the stroke length is. It might say that on the box really quick uh, the stroke length is 5 eighths or 16 millimeters uh, total tool length is 12.12 .12 inches and it is a total of 3.4 pounds I'm sorry 3.04 pounds now this thing is awesome this thing is awesome so I do have a battery right here 2 amp hour battery battery is full Oh, that that has some speed to it. You don't feel the power though. Like like when it comes to this, you you just don't feel it. But that is fast though. We will see and how the how well this actually performs. It has a LED light right there for to light up your work area. This thing is awesome. Let's do a size comparison between the Atomic. Pretty much almost the same design as the Atomic. Actually, it's pretty much the same size as the Atomic. The Atomic is a little bit fatter, and it's the almost the same length. I'd say the Atomic is probably uh, three quarters of an inch longer. But yeah, but uh, versus video coming up in the future, just to see. I know it's uh, apples to oranges. But just to see what the uh, the power comparison between these two are. But that's in the future. This thing's actually awesome. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. The 2 amp hour, while the 3 amp hour charges on, on a 2x4, is this easy... Yep. That just that easy, perfect. All right, so two amp hour, we got full charge. All right, so we are going to see what this can do. We're going to time this and the, uh, let's see what happens. Now the shoe does not pivot; the it's stationary, which is okay. It's better to have it uh, be able to adjust, but it does not. We're gonna do the two by four length lengthwise first. All right, so ready. Go. Time. 
Time, time, time. Now, this is a brand new blade. Uh, like I said, this is six teeth uh, per inch. So we're, we're doing it one more time. All right, so ready, go. Keep stopping. Time. All right, let's put the, maybe lengthwise is a bit too much for it. That's why it's stopping. Well, let's put the two by four upright. What's the battery? Hopefully that's uh, three bars, because if it's not, then that's going to be an issue. It's at two bars. So I only did two cuts, so the battery might not last that long. All right, so ready, go. I'm not putting that much pressure on it either. All right, let's do one more. All righty, so the battery is full for the three amp hour and since this relaxed for a little bit the battery for this is at two so we're just going to take the two amp hour out put the three amp hour in and see what the time difference is all right so ready go So there is a knot there, so we are going to do one more, right, because it's a 12 volt, you know, so as you can see, it's right there. We're going to go beyond the knot as far as, as what I can see, All right, so ready, up one cut, battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. go since it does come with a metal blade let's cut some metal a one inch black steel pipe let's see what this can do all right so i believe that is tight enough the two amp hour battery battery is at two bars it's full, the battery's full enough. All right, so, ready, go. All right, so obviously this is having issues cutting this uh, one inch steel pipe. Battery is probably almost dead. Let's see if the, uh, the three amp hour battery can finish it off. All right, so continue. All righty, let's do one more cut. The battery is at two bars. Now, I will say this, when it comes to using this, the 12 volt, the batteries do not last that long. I did not have this issue with uh, Hilti and Milwaukee with their 12 volt system. All right, so ready, go. Time. What's the battery at? The battery is at one bar. That's bad. That is, this takes up too much uh, life out of the battery to do one cut. Now, 12 volt systems aren't made for this, but like I said, I put these tools to the extreme and I put them through stuff that they're not even uh, meant for. And so, yeah, so it uh, it's brushless. It was able to do it. Uh, and so let's do a temperature reading on this. 
80. It didn't get too. It, it didn't get warm at all. It's 80 degrees. Now, of course, you, this is the type of tool you will not be using this for, but this is good for like uh, pruning trees, you know, getting branches off, uh, cutting uh, uh, some two by fours, you know, and that's pretty much it. I'm not even going to bother to do a four by four with this because it's it's going to have a tough time. Uh, not bad. I, I, I love the way that the DeWalt hacksaws feel in the hand and it has that little curve like that. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do the unboxing and test video of this tool. And once again, the model number for this is DCS312. Ooh, that battery. That battery is hot, though. That battery is hot. Battery is at 127 degrees. Battery got up to 127 degrees. So, yes. DeWalt, with I'm, this is a message for DeWalt. With your 12 volt system, you need to make more powerful batteries with a higher amp hour, uh, with with higher amp hours. So like the, the three amp hour battery is like people are going to use these tools for this stuff. Make a more powerful battery. You need to. This battery is seriously seriously warm. So. That's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.